Okay, folks, we're back. It's time to check out the Frostfall mod. So, go to the Nexus page, or I think it's on Steam. I don't know. I don't use Steam, so. Anyway, you go to the Nexus page and download it and install it with whatever you install things with. Start up your game, you come in the MCM menu. Okay, so go here and go to where the frostfall mod is and you click it and you start the mod you can also do this by looking up the stars for like a certain amount of time and it'll start the mod or something like that I don't know exactly how it goes but yeah when you start the mod it'll give you a flash lost in thought you reflect back on how much the wilds have taught you about yourself over the last several days you recall a book you once lost that was full of wisdom about survival on the open country on a whim you open your backpack and find the survivor's guide to Skyrim staring back at you had it always been there or had you thought had the thought or had thought alone summoned it can't even speak today you push aside the thought as you thumb through the pages and carefully place it back knowing that some things are never truly lost okay so the frostfall mod is now started so we have the wear system this is gonna make me naked uh, you need an axe required for fast travel well, that's just stupid uh, allow fast, fast travel. I always turn that off. For some reason, it's not wanting to be turned off right now. Maybe I need to go out and come back in. I'm naked! As part of the default, a uh, part of enabling or defaulting wear, all of your current equipped items have been unequipped. Re equip your items and start using your equipment and the new exposure protection. Yep, I'm a naked person. So let's put my armor back on. Okay, what did that take off? Saw something disappear when that popped off. Huh. That's weird. Alright, so, I got my armor back on. As you can see. Let's see if I can actually stand up here. There we go. Let's turn the lantern off. I really don't need that on right now. Okay, completed. The Frostfall mod is now on. As you can see, I'm in full fur attire. Except for boots, I'm not wearing boots. Why aren't I wearing boots? I should be wearing boots. I have boots. Have I not had boots this entire time? That's weird. Okay, so. My armor rating is 140, which really isn't good. So, as you can see from the top up there, the little gem, I need to take care of that situation too. So I always have that set up a certain way. Gameplay, well that's where it's supposed to be.
Okay, so at the moment, my gem is white, and I don't know why. But if you'll notice down at the bottom right hand corner, there's two more things down there. There's a little meter telling me how wet I am and how warm I am. The meter up the top above the compass I know, tells I know. me. My head's in the clouds again. Shut Just up. Forget I said anything. Um, you didn't say anything until you said that, and that was annoying. Stop talking. Bitch. Anyway. So, the meter up above, above the compass, tells me how warm my environment is. So, if I start getting cold, things will start moving around. So, let's walk on up. As we get higher up this mountain, that meter up there at the top should change. See, now it's turned to blue. Because my surroundings are now cold. You'll also notice the meter, top meter down there at the bottom, it's starting to turn a color too. It's turning light blue because my body is getting cold. So, we're going to sneak up here. Try to sneak up here. Because there's people wandering around. I want steel arrows. Actually, is the orcish arrow better? I want that dude dead, so... Let's hope I get him in one shot. <laughs> Bink! Right in the head! I... I am so glad I was recording that. That was awesome. And the other guy went back inside, so he has no idea that that just happened. I waited purposely. Now that guy's going to come out and see that he's dead, and he's going to flip out for a second. And I got him too. And I went up a level. I am badass with a bow, let me tell you. Hi. So we're gonna rob them, take all their armor. Where'd I get him? Right in the throat, Jesus. All right, so now I have too much shit, so. I need to go over here, nice butt. What is it? And give this to Sophia. Sophia has a storage Are you area. Are you don't trust me? Yes. Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. Anyway, Sophia has a storage area where you can store stuff, and she will not use it. Mm, let's see. Hunter spear. Okay. Don't need any of that crap. Or probably any of this crap. stuff in there and then I'm not weighed down yes let's go war pick I've never used one of these I'm not sure what mod it's from but whatever it's from it looks like it's gonna freaking hurt when I hit somebody with it Back off. Ooh, there's some chick up here that's scared there she is now hi uh oh Lock up. Wow. That bitch didn't last long, did she? Kind of wish I would have got to see it. It looked like it was going to be an interesting hit. I like being the one going in first. Salt pile, soul gem. 
ostrich. This barrel, deer pelt, soul gem, stale leg of goat roast. I have realistic needs and diseases, so my food spoils. So if you eat this, it'll make you sick. All the mods that I talk about, you can look them up on the Nexus page on uh, Skyrim Nexus, and you'll be able to download them. As you can see from down there below, my cold meter is starting to get very high. Ooh, snowberries. Snowberries? Who ever heard of a snowberry? Snowsberry, whatever. Alright. There's guys up on this hill. And I'd really like to not have them see me. The thing is, it's kind of a toss-up. See, I have to get up there and get inside this place before I freeze to death. But I also won't want, don't want the guys that are up there to see me coming. So, we have to sneak very slowly and quietly. Exposure has increased. Your exposure has increased and your skills are beginning to suffer. You should find a fire to warm up. So, let's see, you can drink alcohol to reduce your exposure temporarily. By default, you will die at very high exposure. So, screw this, I need to hurry. And they should notice that I'm here any second. Notice the sides of my screen are starting to turn blurry. Do you know what I love to do in the afternoon? No, neither do I. Oh, and I missed the bitch. No. Oh, I think I just broke a nail. Oh. I believe I missed her right then. Let me cave his head in. That's right, bitch. Alright. Bandit Silver Hand. Bandit Lothiathon Fledgling. Cloak Black Hide. Vampire. He was a vampire. Interesting. Didn't know there was vampires over here. Okay, I think that was everything, everybody. Was it? Anybody else? No? I don't see anybody else. Alright, this is Bleak Falls Barrow. Let's get down. And go in here nice and quiet like. Okay, I'm still in the colder area. But I'm inside. So, what's that guy right there? Whoa, there's more than one. There's a bunch there. There's not usually quite so many. Yeah, how you like that? Was there something you wanted? Sophia looks like she's mad at me. Alright, so. I have a mod that makes it so there's more uh, bandits, so that may be why there were so many of them. I got him in the leg and the hip and the holy crap. There's freaking people everywhere here. I'm always glad to Bandit have Thornhide. Here in a minute I'll be able to dress a little bit better. At the moment, I'm kind of wore out. And I'm 
carrying a lot of crap, so that's why I'm walking so slow. Well, there's this guy. Okay, look away. So, also in Frostfall, you will notice that... Hold on, let me get rid of the shield. I am going to put on some better armor. I don't know if I have better armor, but... Some iron boots would be better. Furhead black, the steel armor. See, now the steel armor is going to make it so that I'm just a little bit more uh, armored, but the problem with it is it doesn't do anything against cold. So that's kind of an issue, but... I have been told that I have one of the nicest voices in Skyrim, or even Daniel, axe. for that matter. Axes are important with Frostfall. To agree. The other thing that's important to Frostfall is fire. I'll stand near this fire. You'll notice me start to warm up. My little meter down there will start to go down. And he'll bend down and he'll warm himself. My companions will come in and they'll start to warm themselves. And as soon as I'm warm, then I can go on about my business. My stats will come back up. And I think if you look now, I don't know if my stats are still down. Exposure cold. Um, my resistances aren't that good yet, so let's see. Let's see, exposure cold, you feel chilly. I have a minus 10% to my health, magicka, stamina, and stamina regeneration. So, yeah, it slows down me regenerating and healing and my amount of magicka and stamina as fast as it comes back. It slows it down by 10% because of the fact that I'm cold. So, once I get warmed up, that'll change. You are carrying too much to be able to run. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get warm back up, so that's the part that sucks. <laughs> 